All right, we got a couple of our lines already mapped out here. So this is gonna be our 36 by 17. Here you can see the line and this is gonna be our other. We need two of these. So the calculator does all that work for you. So right there, as you can see, it tells you what you're gonna need. So that's gonna be the top and bottom and then the front and rear, all that type stuff. So should be pretty easy, guys. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting this up. Now, I am not a professional box builder. Don't be giving me crap because I'm not mapping this thing out right. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this and uh, I'll set the camera up so you can watch. Well, that didn't work out so good, did it? I, I, I wasn't even paying attention and I had the, uh, the sawhorse like under the piece that I was cutting. Andrew was on the phone, so I got impatient and figured I would just cut it. But yeah, everything fell. Anyway, got two pieces cut so far. That's it. They're right here in the back of the car. And uh, I'm just going to freehand this. I was going to use this as like a guide, but uh, it's more aggravating than it's worth to do. So uh, I'm not going to worry with that. I'm just going to freehand it out. The box is going to be carpeted anyway. So it's okay. Hey, we don't do anything around here perfect. So it's all right, it's all good. Anyway, we're gonna get back to cutting some of these boards and uh, if I can give you any tips or anything like that, uh, we'll talk about it. See you in a few. We got our boards cut. We've got some of them right here in the back and then some over here. So this is the deal. Um, these boards aren't completely straight. They're not perfect, but honestly, it's not really gonna matter that much because I mean, we're gonna liquid nails this thing up on the inside, make sure it's all sealed up good and tight. I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of the straighter boxes that I've ever cut, believe it or not. So this whole time I've been dealing with this saw and it's got this laser on it. So I had to finally just cover the laser up because the laser like shoots off to the side and you're trying to follow it and it's, it's bad. So as soon as we've done that, the cuts were fairly straight. So what we're gonna do now is just start kind of assembling the box. So we're gonna put everything together and go from there, see how it all looks. So what I'll do is just set up a time lapse for you guys. Enjoy, back to you in a few minutes. guys i thought i would break in on the time lapse now you guys won't know it but this time lapse has been going for over an hour we are not box builders i promise you uh we have run into an issue which you guys know if you've built slot ported boxes where everything has to line up right here so this board can't be higher than this board and so on and so forth uh we've run into a problem where this board back here is too short so so in the video where you saw me drop the saw it, it caused it to uh, to have an angle on the base plate. And that's what happened right here. This this angle has screwed us up. So we're gonna recut this outer board right here. And uh, that's what Andrew's doing right now is just making sure we get this measurement right because we've got one, well, yeah, really one shot at it before we run out of wood. So um, we can tweak and adjust this if we absolutely have to. Liquid Nails does wonders, guys. This thing will be carpeted, but I really would like to try to get this back board a little bit higher. But uh, it's been a fun night for the most part. You know, it's a little stressful here and there, but I think we got it right this time or close enough. I mean, there's going to be gaps in this thing, guys. Understand that. I'm not a professional. We don't have a table saw. My hand isn't the steadiest. My measurements are off. Looks like 36 on the money. 13 and a half. Pretty, pretty damn close. Cut on that side over there. going wrong guys when you're having to turn around and go the other way. We've lost our table. That's always the, the worst part of this whole deal is whenever you lose your table. Which one? Swing it. Swing it. Yeah. 
All right, so uh, like I said, this board's a little short. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead, and uh, take this board off right here, and uh, we'll show you guys what we got here in just a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to get it about even. But... It'll all be covered with carpet anyway. Well, box is looking pretty good. We've not cut the hole for the, for the sub yet, but man, it's looking all right. This is a big box for 112, by the way. It looks like a coffin. Yeah, this thing, like I said, is tuned for 34 hertz. So the length of this port is what determines the hertz. So this is 23 inches, I think is what it is. We got some cleaning up to do for right now, though. Uh, we just got a wood glue in and uh, it's drying up. We'll come back in. I'll sand everything, sand all the edges, round it all off, smooth it off, and uh, we will carpet it some color to match the back of the car back here. So it's been a while since I've done a sub. The last one I did, you know, was in the red car. But uh, this one should beat. I mean, this one should should bang. Uh, it's probably going to tear the car if I got a feeling. So. Probably. Yeah, probably so. So uh, anyway, we're just going to kind of finish this up tonight. And I'll come back out tomorrow, more than likely, and show you guys what we've got. You can a speaker box without that. Yep. Uh, I'll cut that part out. Don't worry, Andrew. No, you won't. I know. <laughs> it's like almost, what, four cubic feet, I think, oh is what it is uh, on the outside. But inside, actual volume, which stops right here. So none of this back here counts and the sub displacement of the sub and all that stuff so anyway i hope this thing sounds good i hope you guys kind of enjoy this now i'm not ordered the amp yet but like i said we are going to hook it up in joan eight's vehicle so we will get to hear this thing play here real soon so we're going to kind of finish this up tonight guys i'll catch you tomorrow or if we cut the hole out i'll show you guys what it looks like anyway catch you guys then well it is day two on the speaker box build my lens is fogging up. It is day two on the speaker box build, so where are we at? Well guys, not everything went to plan last night. So uh, we went to put the speaker box in the car, it was too big, so it was too, it was too tall and too wide. So as you can see right here, I guess you can, you can see the outline. So this is how far the box sits back. The problem is it was a little too tall, it was sitting above the seal right here. So I woke up this morning, I got out here and I trimmed the box down. So what I did was take a half inch off of the top of the box. Also, I've begun rounding everything off right here. So all of this will be rounded off in the corners, it'll be really nice. These screws will you know, be moved and some things will change. But this is where we're at, kind of looks like a coffin doesn't it? It's going to be a big box guys. This thing's over 4 cubic feet on the outside and it is 2.6 or 2.7 on the inside, I can't remember. But, something I wanted to cover with you guys, I told you I'd give you some tips if I could. Uh, most of you guys have probably done this, but this has been my go-to for years. So one way that you can measure out your speaker hole is by doing something similar to this. So every speaker, you can look up the mounting hole. So as you can see right there, B, mounting hole dimensions, where we have the DDX-12, it's gonna be 286 millimeter. All you have to do is divide by two. So to do that, all you have to do is get a cheap little caliper right here from Harbor Freight, something like that. This is the easiest way to do it so you can get precise. Split that, and the difference is gonna be, I think, 143? Yeah, I think it was 143, yeah. So just move your caliper till you get to 143, or half of whatever you're doing. Put a screw in the center, and then line your other screw up. See how that screw head is directly center of this? So that way we know that we're gonna have the right dimensions. Put your screw in the center, just screw it through the board, take you another screw and screw it in just enough to where it can scribe this. And literally you just swing this thing around and it makes a perfect circle. At that point, all you have to do is take it out and you're good. Nothing I ever do is exactly precise. So you need to understand that ahead of time. But uh, there we go, guys. That's going to be our mounting hole. All we're going to do is drill a hole right in here so that we can get our saw in, and we're going to cut this inside circle out. All right, guys, let's go ahead, drill this thing out, and get it cut. Uh -oh, 
and there you go just like that we have our hole cut it's not pretty ah, it is what it is guys all right let's see if the sub will fit in the box perfect man that is that is on the money all right guys well there is a sneak peek a preview of what this thing is going to look like uh we have not got all the screws in uh, this thing is not completely sealed up yet so i'm going to go ahead and address that right now get to this thing knock it out and uh, i'll get back to you guys uh once we start installing some stuff i may show you some tips and tricks because like i said i had to cut the box down so my angles are off now so i might show you how i sand all this down and everything like that anyway get back to you guys in just a second Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Um, I don't really like this, but we had to angle the front of the box. So what I'm gonna do is come in with probably a, a file or a grinder and just ever so slightly grind the heads of this. That way, whenever I carpet the box, you don't see them. But other than that, guys, I'm very pleased with how this box turned out. Do have to blow everything out, get up in here and liquid nails the top of the lid, seal it all up good in the corners up there. But man, so far she's looking good. So get back to you guys once again in a few minutes so I'll tell you what let's walk around the car look at the box real quick see how tight she fits and there it is guys that is a huge box look how close it is look at that you would think that the hatch would not close but it actually will it's, it's a really tight fit hatch closes just fine so We finally got the box completed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the box. Like I said, uh, it's probably gonna look really good on camera, but on the sides, it's just, it looks like Frankenstein. But uh, we will be mounting the amp, and I know people say don't mount amps on the side of the box, but we're gonna do it uh, just to cover up some stuff. So we are gonna put uh, the amp on the side of the box, it's a very small amp, and uh, probably a small battery also in the car. So anyway. Let me go ahead and show you this before it gets too dark. Well, that's it, guys. I know it's really dark out here and you can't see much, but this is what we've got. It looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm impressed. I decided to just go with the gray. So, yeah, it looks really good. Now, this box is not gonna stay in the car full time. It will come out. I just wanna go ahead and close this out. Just remember, guys, you don't have to be perfect on everything that you do. It's okay. I'm not perfect. This box is not perfect. It's got a lot of liquid nails in it and it's got a Frankenstein job done as far as the carpet goes, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna work. It's hopefully gonna sound good. I mean, I don't know, but uh, just get out there and get after it, guys. It's a fun little project. You can do it in a day or so and uh, have yourself a custom speaker box. If you're better with wood, you're better with cutting, go ahead and give it a try. I mean, you can do all sorts of custom stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching. Nah.